As with most elections, those running generally come by or call WLAF on election night. However, this week, State Representative Dennis Powers wasn't able to stop by. In fact, he wasn't even in town on Tuesday. Powers, who defeated Virgil Kidwell, was in Nashville in meetings on Tuesday night. He did, however, have a chance to stop by this afternoon here at the Channel 12 studios. We did pick up Anderson County. We have uh, about 15 to 20 percent of Anderson County now. Actually, everything east of I-75 is in our district and still have most of Union and then all of Campbell. So we, we do have a new district that ran in and fortunate enough to uh, win in, in every county uh, by a pretty big margin. So I, I really appreciate the vote and uh, all the hard work and the people that helped me out and all across the district. We have a fairly large district. It's 100 miles from one end of it to another. And a lot of people in Nashville don't realize that when they're talking about getting out and knock on doors. but it really is a large district, but uh, had a lot of people helping me or we would have never done so well. Powers adds that he appreciates all those who worked so hard to make this year's election possible. Powers describes it as a very long day for all the workers on election day, and this week's election was no exception. Sunday's weather is shaping up to be really nice for the Veterans Day Parade. The parade will kick off under sunny skies at 3 p.m. with temperatures at about 63 degrees. Grand Marshals for the 2012 Veterans Day Parade are the Campbell County Military Honor Guard and the Appalachian Chapter 105 of the Disabled American Veterans. Organizers encourage all veterans to attend so we may honor them on their special day. The parade route runs through La Follette from the Methodist Church to the Sonic. It's the second Thursday of the month and that's the monthly meeting date for Pink Pals. Positive, attitude, love, and support. Campbell County's Breast Cancer Support Group. A special speaker headlines this evening's meeting. She is Jennifer Robbins from Chet and she'll highlight the Look Good, Feel Good program. Pink Pals meets at 7 o'clock at First Baptist Church in La Follette. The group was formed last winter by breast cancer survivor Sheila Falls. November is the month for commodity recertification. Now through the 30th, you may stop by the East Tennessee Human Resource Agency behind Ayers Realty to recertify your USDA commodity card. Hours to recertify are from 8.30 to 11.45 and then from 1 unto 2. There's some information you will need to bring with you. Proof of household income, birthdays of everyone in your home, and proof of ID. If you have any questions, you can call 562-2948. Coats for the cold is Saturday. If you're needing a winter coat, then Saturday is the day you need to go to the Veterans Park at Jellicoe between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. The event is sponsored by the City of Jellicoe. In observance of Veterans Day, the La Follette Street and Sanitation Departments will be closed Monday, November 12th, and will resume their regular schedule on Tuesday, November 13th. Monday's garbage will be picked up on Tuesday. Will and the folks at Rainbow Ford encourage you to join them in Hurricane Relief 2012. You can bring clothes, dry goods, non-perishable items, bottled water, baby diapers, and handy wipes to Rainbow Ford. The big truck load leaves up on Saturday. And it's been seven years, seven years since the shootings at Campbell County High School. It was Tuesday, November 8, 2005, when we all heard the news. It was not long after lunch when the word spread that there had been a shooting at Campbell County High School. There are not many of us who do not know the story that's been played out over and over again 
on virtually every media outlet in the country. It's the story of a high school freshman named Kenneth Bartley Jr. who shot three principals, killing one of the principals, Ken Bruce. We share this story with you, not to drudge up painful memories, but rather to pause and remember the man who died that day, Ken Bruce. And that's a look at our news for today. We'll be back with a press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department. And taking a look at the press release from the Campbell County Sheriff's Department, four people have been booked into the jail in the past 24 hours. John Kevin Finley, age 40, of John McGee Boulevard in Caraville for DUI and driver's failure to exercise due care. 21-year-old Thomas Lee Ridner of Stinkin' Creek Road in Pioneer driving while suspended. Tracy Paul Wilson, age 40, of Dog Creek Lane in Jacksboro for DUI, violation of the implied consent law, violation of the open container law, and failure to maintain control of a vehicle. And the fourth one on the list today, Leroy Allen York, 48, of Ivy Hollow Road, La Follette, for violation of a protection order and harassment. And that's the press release for this Thursday. Thank you for joining us, and we'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow, and we'll have the end of the week edition of the news. We sing happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, Hey, Big Josh with you on this Thursday evening doing your birthdays and anniversaries. And I want to tell you now that the Birthdays and Anniversary Club is brought to you by WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. And I'm looking at today's birthdays. We've got uh, Shanna Monday having a birthday today. Happy birthday to you, Shanna. And Gloria Dean Sawyers is having a birthday today, as well as Miss Rissa Price. Happy birthday to Rissa. Whitney uh, Leinert is 17 years old today. Happy uh, 17th to you, Whitney. Clarence Blackwell turns 40. Hello, Clarence on that big 40. Happy birthday to you. And Stephanie Wilson is 16 years old today. Happy sweet 16 to you, Stephanie. And Callie Suttles is four years old. Happy birthday to you, Callie. And we have some belated anniversaries. Ronnie Wilson had a birthday on Tuesday. Happy anniversary to you, uh, anniversary. I'm doing birthdays. Happy birthday to you, Ronnie. And uh, yesterday, Billy Bailey had a birthday. Happy birthday to you, Billy. And anniversaries. Uh, had that on my mind, didn't it? Jennifer and Carl Morgan celebrate number 47 today. Happy birthday to you, Carl and Jennifer. We hope all of you had a great day and are having a great day. And we want to say to you, if you're celebrating your anniversary today or your birthday, we want you to have a great day too. But remember, we have to have your name on our birthday club list in order for you to qualify for the drawing that we have each Friday. And you could win a, a birthday dinner for two or an anniversary dinner for two from WLAF and Eastside Pizza. Hey, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you're having a great day. And we'll do this again tomorrow. Good Lord willing. Good night. And God bless.